What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... We're going to go over some market talk, as per usual. Before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. Um, make sure to follow my Twitter down below for MT giveaways. If we get 120 likes on this video, we will give away MT to some of you guys. And yeah, man, um, two people, the MT giveaway winners, they did get their MT. You can check it out on Twitter. I'm no cap. I'm not lying at all. Before we get into the video, let's run this ad. And if you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yeah, so if you guys do not know, um, I spent all my tokens, number one. Number two, if you guys have enough tokens to get Levine, get him. He's... He's amazing. Um, probably one of the best shooters, dunkers in the game. But enough of that. Let's go over the auction. Let me tell you what you guys should be doing. What you guys should... Wow. Kareem's at 507. I got him for 380 yesterday. So, market is rising big time. That's all I'm going to say. Like, straight up. 2K hasn't had a market crash in weeks. So, we're due for some crazy, crazy content this week. I'm not going to lie. Like, this week, it's probably, like, last chances on selling your cards. Because, bro, like, I might sell everybody. I mean, realistically, I'm going to end up getting Opal Simmons. I have the MT for him. He went up a lot. Actually, it's probably because he's fully evo But, bro, this Ben Simmons will probably drop to around 4. There's no way it will be that expensive for that long. But, yo, everything is up a lot. So, like I said, man, if you did pick up your team Friday or Thursday, it was not a bad time to because the market went up a lot. Galaxy Obos went up a lot, Pink Diamonds went up a lot, and I would honestly recommend selling your cards. And honestly, if you want to pick up this AI, it's really not a bad idea. This card, yeah, he's small, but honestly, bro, what are you going to do? If you don't have, like, it's just so annoying how you can't use these cards. Like, they seriously had to put Ben Simmons and Giannis at point guard. Like, I know they kind of do play point guard, but, like, why they got to do us like that, 2K? Why? Um, Right now, man... I'm just going to say, I would definitely stick on some new Prime card filters. Like, the Aaron Baines filter is jumping. Like, those cards pop up like crazy, and the Muhammad Abdur Ali would pop up like crazy. If you really want to make MT, and this Iguodala pops up like crazy too. So, if you really want to make MT, I would 110% be hiding on these Prime filters, bro. If you really want to make MT, these Snipe filters are the method. Not only that, they're actually good cards. Like, the Muhammad Abdur Ali is pretty good. You could definitely use them. Pretty solid cards. Also, man, another tip for you guys to make MT. If you hear any locker codes come out on Twitter or whatever, I drop the video. Locker codes play a big part of the auction. So, for instance, they dropped Ami Shaq the other day, and he was down to like a 1,200 MT, 1,300, 1,400. He's up to over 2,000 MT now. And if you do sit on the Ami filter, first off, it's probably one of the best filters in the game. Probably the most consistent snipe filter in the game. And not only that, it's honestly kind of fun to buy and resell Amethyst. And not only that, on top of it, if you see Amethyst cards like that are going for really cheap, you kind of want to stock up on them because they do hold their value. Amethyst cards are low-key good. Like, for instance, bro, Lance Stevenson, Ami. Lance Stevenson, Ami is goaded. I'll take that. Did I miss it? All right. Well, this Aaron Baines card gets pulled up every second. So, honestly, I think his price will rise to around 3K. He's a really good Amethyst. Like, he has 92, he has 92 and 90. He's actually a really good card, really, really good card. Honestly, great shooting stats, could dunk, 6'10", so he's going to be a power forward. Not that slow with a 70 speed, does have 49 ball, but this card is actually pretty good. And honestly, if you want to send this filter, pick up a ton of them for like 1,500 MT, it's up to you, man. I think it's a pretty good idea. That Reggie Jackson ended up rising if you did keep him a lot. Like, he went up a lot. He was around like 1200 MT at a point. He's around to like 3, 4K. So if you did stack up on him, you stacked up 100 for around 1200, 1500, 1500, 150K. Sell him for around 3, 1500 per. 
That's a lot of MT. That's over 150k made off that one car. It only costed 150k to make 150k. So you pretty much doubled your MT, which is absolutely absurd. So the way I mo make most of my MT is pretty much just picking up on what is like what is hot. Like, so for instance, when the leap year packs came out, um, Amethyst, David Thompson, and Caruso were really hot on the auction. So what I did was I went over to Amethyst Leap Year and I stacked up on so, so many Carusos. And I'm going to show you right now that his price is up that much. And I'm literally, literally so many people have been, so many people in my videos are like, yo, should I stack up on Caruso? I'm like, bro, yeah, because he's going to go up. I don't know exactly what I got him for. It was a couple weeks ago, but he was around 4K. So now this is one tip to you guys. Hopefully this tip doesn't get destroyed because every tip I put out on the media gets destroyed. Like every single person does it because it's so deadly right there. Give me that. Yes. So we just got a quick snipe there. Alex Caruso was going for what? Around three ish K. He's up to around six K. I got a ton of them for two. I got a ton of them for three. He's up to six K. First off, if you guys don't know, Alex Caruso is a hype beast. He is like a hype beast card. Everybody loves this guy. First off, he has 99 defense. He's 6'5". Can he play point guard? He can play point guard. 6'5". This guy could dunk. He could shoot. I think he has 12, he has 12 all fame. He has 29 gold badges. This card is amazing for the price. So, not only that, with 99 defense, it's 6'5". This card's really good. That means he does have all fame clamps. So, if you do see hype beast cards that are amethyst or diamonds, you want to pick them up. Because if you don't pick them up, I don't know if my voice sounds raspy, by the way. That's my bad. Like, honestly, I don't know what I did. Was not streaming at all, so I'm kind of confused. But yo, right now, since there is hype beast cards in the game, like for instance, another one was Ruby Zion. When those packs first dropped, I think he was in the first flash set. Those packs were mega hyped, and not only that, obviously Zion's mega hyped. The car was going for around three to four k. Look at it now, bro, 8500 MT. I told you guys to pick him up. He's gonna go up, bro. This is crazy, bro. A Ruby Zion is that good, and not only that. His stats are phenomenal for Ruby, if you don't have the diamond one already. Another hype beast card that goes up and down a lot because DVG, bro, pretty much broke his price is Jeff Green Ruby. So, like, it's pretty much Rubies and Amethyst, bro. A lot of them have a lot of hype. And when they have hype and the media releases that they're good, they go up in value. So, right now, man, these three cards, pretty much any cards that are in packs is just an amazing MT method in my opinion and not only that right now man these collections are all big time so if you have any cards like I would have to say recommend selling now pretty much any car in the game you could sell now like don't even ask me should I sell this opal should I sell this should I sell that I'm just gonna tell you right now go ahead and sell your whole team go ahead and sell everything in your collection if you're not grinding for collections because what the hell these collection cards are going for like 4k these cards are so rare. You know why? Because 2K did a terrible job of releasing these packs. These packs have no value. There's nothing in them. So since there's nothing in them and you want to make MT and you want to do your collections, 2K hasn't dropped anything in those packs in weeks. And not only that, when they do drop them in packs, they're trash packs. No one really pops those. So that is why their value is up so much, bro. Their value is up so, so much. And it makes sense because, bro, who are going to pop these packs? To pull, your best pull is this right here. Pink Diamond Kawhi Leonard going for like 30 something K. Who wants that? I don't want it. I pulled him in a free locker code pack, which is actually crazy. But dude, if you drop Mad MT on these packs, you only have a chance of pulling a Pink Diamond Giannis that goes for nothing. But he is the center, which is kind of cool. But I don't know, man. These cards right here, man, make sure to sell them. Silvers go for a lot more than gold as well. That's another tip. Silver, so some golds go for a lot. I want to sell my cards, but like I don't need to. I'm kind of trying to get closer to collector level. I'm 80 cards away from 100k, which is really good. If you're close to the 100k, you could literally just get to the 100k and get your MT back for the collection. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm trying to buy like 20 cards per day, trying to get closer to Oval Davis and Sabonis, but we'll see how it goes. And of course, my 2k is frozen. So with that being said, we are going to end the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And honestly, some tips for you guys, market tips, whatever. Hope you guys really did enjoy the video. Stay safe out there. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.